Welcome to Ham Radio QRP. Today we look at a wonderful old Heath Kit tube radio, model HW101. The HW101 is a tube radio. That means it uses vacuum tubes instead of transistors. This radio has 20 tubes. They put off quite a bit of heat and have a wonderful uh, hot tube smell. This is my first tube radio and I'm really enjoying it. Tube radios have special power requirements. You can't just plug it into the wall and you can't run it off of a normal amateur 12 volt power supply. This tube radio needed 12 volts for filament, minus 130 volts for bias, 350 volts and 800 volts for the tubes. So in order to do that I had to restore a Heathkit HP23 power supply. It had old electrolytic capacitors and they were unsafe and the other components needed to be replaced as well so I purchased a, a PCB, a, a board, to make the replacement easier from old Heathkit parts and uh, ordered the components for it from Mouser, built the board, installed it in the HP23 after taking out all of the old parts and tested it out. In order to test that 800 volts, my multimeter will only test up to 600 volts, so I used a couple 3 watt 100K resistors in series as a voltage divider and was able to measure the 802 volts as 401 uh, after the voltage was divided. So now I have power and I'm ready to run the radio. It was nice to see the old tube radio fired up again. I don't know how many years it had been sitting in storage. I replaced the old electrolytic capacitors in it as well before bringing it on the air. So it was time for a QSO. The following QSO on 40 meters was a brief WES exchange with K1EEE. -E -E.